Welcome to this Windows Computer and Technology channel and just wanted to uh, show a quick um, look of the Mozilla Thunderbird email client. I haven't talked about this in a long, long time, but it's one of those email clients you can download for free from the Mozilla Thunderbird webpage. Once it's installed, it's going to ask you, of course, to add email accounts. And it's pretty straightforward, whatever it's a Gmail, a Yahoo, a Hotmail, a um, uh, Outlook, a, a any type of email, a Yahoo, like I said, also or your local email provider. Um, it's it's a very straightforward uh, thing, and it's very automated. So there's not a lot to do. And once it's done, well, you get an email client that looks like this. This looks uh, strangely a lot like uh, Outlook Express in some ways. If you missed the, the days of that. Um, you know, email client that, that is more of a, you know, top, you get the emails that you receive, bottom you get the um, the message itself and so on. Uh, this might be um, one for you. And this is, of course, open source. And uh, it's still downloading images because of all sorts of things that I kept, which maybe I should remove. Uh, there is, of course, a uh, a, a, a nice little... Uh, email thing here that has security at the bottom it doesn't open images it doesn't automatically open everything like in the the, the days of outlook express to kind of keep you safe and of course you can add, add this and to your account it uh, in in cases of you're using a gmail or a yahoo you'll be using imap which will kind of synchronize the emails and it's, it's pretty good actually if um, looking at it, I'm, I'm, you know, I, if I would use an email provider or a client, I think this would be the one that I would probably use. And you can add all of the different accounts that you want there. And it also dabbles with the calendar. So the calendar app is there. Contacts is there. Everything is there. So whatever you have, you can actually um, use the calendar if you want. So all you have to do is uh, make sure that it's enabled and that you uh, can use the different options. There's contact list and so on. Uh, it will also, it has a, a um, an import feature in the settings. So if you are using it and want to add to uh, the email provider, uh, you can of course go in here and go into the import of emails from another app if you wish. So this is, Thunderbird's own email client. Maybe uh, you uh, could like it or not. So depending on what you're using, uh, it's another solution for um, emails. That's for sure. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.